Okay, let's go ahead and start in the yard. One great thing about this property, you got plenty of parking, two car garage, you know, nice turnaround pad here. If you had kids or grandkids, it'd be a good place to come out here and play basketball. You know, nice little courtyard effect. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the home itself. You know, you have stacked stone, uh, architectural shingles, you have hardy board, and then you have some uh, cedar shake shingles, which are up there in the gable of the house. You got some multiple gables here. It kind of gives it a kind of a, a almost a rustic, traditional yet rustic type feel. Nice little entryway, stacked stone, great front door. Let's just go ahead and walk inside and get a better feel for this property itself. Okay, as we enter the home, probably the first thing you're going to notice is these beautiful hardwood floors. You've got the hardwood floors basically on the whole main floor except for the master. You have carpet in the master. You've got tongue and groove ceilings here. These are about nine, nine foot ceilings here. Uh, also with the wide beams that are accented that really kind of gives it a nice rustic feel. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way into the foyer. And let's go ahead and gather, let's go ahead and get it, let's walk into the gathering room and get a feel for the gathering room. Let's stop right here on the right as we have a half bath. Nicely finished granite countertops, custom cabinets. As you walk into the gathering room, kind of having to fight the light here just a little bit. Let me kind of step to the side. Probably the first thing you're going to notice is this nice, wonderful tongue and groove cathedral ceiling with those nice accent wide beams that are, that are here again. Really gives it a great feel, great trim work, great view of the lake here. We'll actually get a better feel for the lake. We'll walk out on the deck in just a moment. Hardwood floors, nice size room. You got some oversized furniture in here, so you got plenty of room to put you know, the same type back if you did not want to buy the furnishings that are currently in the house. Let's just go ahead and look at this great fireplace that we have here. Of course, this is gas, gas fireplace. And it reaches all the way to the ceiling, so it just shows really, really well. Okay? Let's go ahead and walk on this side, and I'll kind of look back, uh, kind of look towards the water here just a moment. I'm going to walk outside and just get a better, better feel for that. But let's go ahead and kind of look back. You know, we came in here just through the foyer at the front door. Came into the gathering room. Let's go ahead and walk back. Let's go ahead and walk into the kitchen. Get a great feel for the kitchen. Now the kitchen's open. You know, we got a table here for six. Obviously with this size room that we have, you can put a larger size table here. But great table, you know, all the conversation can be done between your kitchen and the dining room table and your gathering room. So it's got a great flow pattern to it. I mean, this, the kitchen here is, is just wonderful. They did a great job. You know, you got a nice tray ceilings, recessed lighting, beautiful hardwood floors, granite countertops tile backsplashings. You got this wonderful center aisle here. Center island is just, you know, very nice. Great cabinets, stainless steel appliances. And of course back here we're going to have the, the laundry room, which is just off the off the kitchen area as you come through the garage. We've got a two-car garage, but we're going to you know keep our focus in here in the kitchen right now. Then we're going to walk outside here in just a moment. Gas burner, gas stove top. Got those nice rollout casement windows. Even on the even in the kitchen, you have those those nice rollout casement windows. So just a wonderful, wonderful kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is just finished very nicely. And like I said, you know, the home shows immaculate. It looks like it was just finished yesterday. Nice built-in uh, cabinet. This kind of gives you a better feel for where we were, we were in the gathering room. Again, nice picture windows. Casement wind, picture wind in the middle, casement windows on each side. Nice sunroom, finished tile, I mean, uh, tile flooring. Great views. I mean, I can actually, you know, we can stand at almost any part of this main area that we're in today and see the lake looking left and right. Let's go ahead and walk outside. Got a nice little covered porch here, covered, covered area. Tongue and groove ceilings. Nice finished flooring. Now we're kind of starting to get a feel for the actual the lay of the land itself. So we're on the covered patio area, which is just adjacent to the kitchen. Our dock is directly in front of us there, but you're going to get good views out to the right. Just a great lot. I mean, landscaping is great. Just enough grass, just a little bit of greenery. It looks very well. 
you got deep water we're going to walk down there in just a few moments and look at that nice covered deck excuse me open deck nice open deck here actually going to get afternoon shade so that's great just kind of walk out here just a moment there's no home yet to our left their dock is in place here's the dock for this property but I mean just quality quality homes all down beside you and you really get a feel for the for the actual slope going down to the lake okay it's got a just a gorgeous home gorgeous home okay let's go ahead and walk let's go ahead and walk back inside and we're gonna make our way into the master bedroom As we make our way to the master bedroom, this is what I was talking about earlier, is that we have an office, nice office study here at, right now that is currently being used as a fourth bedroom, okay, or a fourth sleeping quarters, whichever one you like to call it. Very nice. Those hardwood floors go right on into the office study. So hardwood floors, office study, foyer, gathering room, and kitchen, okay. Nice trim work. You now we have some archways here going into the to the bedroom and into the gathering room. Let's go ahead and walk on into the master. You kind of have to the blind on the right hand side. I cannot get to open today, so it kind of blocks some of our view to the lake. But let's go ahead and walk out here on the covered deck, covered patio area. Again, nicely finished, just like the other one. Tongue and groove ceilings, great area to sit out here in the morning time or evening, overlooking the lake. So we're on the right hand wing of the house right now. Let's go ahead and walk back inside, kind of get a better feel for the master. Again, tray ceilings, nice size master bedroom. We have a king size bed in here right now with two nightstands, casement windows, great views of the lake. Let's go ahead and walk into the master bath. Master bath, nicely finished master bath. Have the nice large tile work, nice walk-in shower, whirlpool tub. Nice countertops. Nicely finished walk-in closet, his and hers walk-in closet. As you can tell, they don't use it very much. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead one more time and talk about what we are. We're on the right-hand side of the house right now. We're in the master suite. Okay, nice size master, uh, nice, very nicely finished uh, designer bathroom. And again, we're walking back out of the master, back out into the foyer. We had our study office slash fourth bedroom on the left. Front door, hallway, closet. Again, kitchen, laundry room through those doors, two car garage, sunroom, and great views overlooking the lake. I mean, it's hard to see it in this picture right now, but you get some great views looking back out onto the lake right now. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and walk downstairs and uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, everything that we have down there.